Greg Sankey, the SEC commissioner, calls for an end to the early signing period. Now, let's go on and pull it up on the screen here so that you can see exactly what I'm looking at. Uh, he said, there we go, this is over at Saturday Down South, but it, I think it originated at The Athletic. He said that the college football calendar is not working, and he wants to end December's early signing period, and and I tend to agree with him. Uh, you have bowl prep, you have the transfer portal window. Uh, this thing was opened in December of 2017, right? Um, I believe that's right. Maybe it says, it. yeah, introduced in December 2017 for the 2018 recruiting cycle. Uh, this was before the NCAA transfer portal, which launched in October 2018. This is this is what uh, Greg Sankey said. He said, we're crushing coaches in December. We're going to add playoff games in December. We have to change early signing. Now, Mark Stoops also voiced support for changing the calendar. He said, I was in favor. I was voting for the early signing period, but I think now this month is so crazy. I don't know. I think we just got to get together and have some great leadership and some discussions about how to improve this process. Now, here's what we're looking at. The postseason transfer portal window opened on December 5th. The early signing period was held December 21st through the 23rd. When this thing was done years ago, the early signing period that everybody was was pulling for was in July or August, you know? Uh, something along those lines where kids that wanted to go ahead and commit early that in, in we were not expecting it to be everybody, but those that just wanted to shut down their recruitment could go ahead and do it. Just get it over. Over with. And instead, what we did is we sped up the process two months early. That helped nobody, absolutely nobody, because now it, these schools are using it as, hey, I can't guarantee you that there's going to be a spot here in February. If somebody else takes your spot, well, it is what it is. So these kids feel pressured to have to go ahead and make their decision early. Now, in some cases, that's good. Go ahead and get it out of the way. You don't have to go through all the recruitment and whatnot in January, in February, uh, well, early, early February, but it changes things, right? So if you had gone ahead and done it to where they could, you know, do it after their junior year heading into their senior year of high school, they can go ahead and commit. They can go ahead and sign the paper. Everything's done. I mean, it would cut back on some of these uh, some of these coaches pulling scholarship offers, and you would figure out which ones are actually real scholarship offers as well, right? Those that allow these kids to sign, yeah, those are real offers. Doesn't matter what they go end up doing in their senior year. Uh, those kids have real offers no matter what. I'm very curious what they end up doing. Do they end up pushing this thing back into you know early August? sometime around there or do they just do away with the early signing period uh, at uh, like at all do they just completely wipe this thing out i might would be in favor of just going back to setting this thing up so that it's in february i think it makes more sense in february to be completely honest you've got your transfer portal that thing closes here pretty soon in january and then you move on to the high school recruiting in february very beginning of february and then you've got spring practice in March and April. And then you move into NFL draft and whatnot. And then in May, or I guess at late April and May, you have another transfer portal window. And then you're getting ready for summer uh, training and all that kind of mess. Like the calendar needs to be fixed, obviously. But there are ways to make this thing work. And Greg Sankey being the first to publicly state that this thing needs to be done away with, at least the first commissioner that I've heard, uh, cheers to him for coming out and actually saying it because it's, it's pretty important. Psst. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.